interest from Liverpool in the figure of Rodrigo Goes are already coming from Real Madrid. This is Valdebiba's response to this information. Liverpool and the United Kingdom are strongly interested in retaining the services of an untouchable player in the eyes of Carlo Ancelotti. There is talk in England of up to €80 million Euros in a proposal that of course already reaches the iodes of Real Madrid and the sports city of Valdebibas. Rodrigo Goes is by no means experiencing sweet moments at the club. He has lost ground to Brahim and with figures inappropriate for his figure throughout all these years. Right now no one at the Bernabeu is considering leaving him, but the truth is that only a player's performance defines the extent to which he can serve at Real Madrid. That in England they have announced that they are paying 80 million for the Brazilian to give him the place of Mohamed Salah near Arabia is a compliment to Madrid's sports management, the best way to understand that the transfer policy adopted years ago is bearing fruit, but also a 180-degree turn to the plan thinking with Rodrigo during his time at the Bernabeu. Blunt response. We will sell him only if the player requests it and, since he has not asked for it and is delighted, he is not going to leave for any amount, is what Madrid recognizes about the rumor that has emerged in these hours. Goes, like the Vinicius, Bellingham or Endrick, would only have the doors open if the clause is paid. Rodrigo is clear that he wants to fight even against the names that will arrive in the summer. It is the first reaction that comes from a white team where the Liverpool rumors do not alter or change the equation raised about Rodrigo years ago. Goes is past, present, but above all future in an entity where only his request to leave can open the doors without Madrid having a hand in the operation. The 14 internationals returned safely. Carlo Ancelotti was able to count on all the available troops. The loss against Athletic will be signed by Vinicius, who is suspended, while Militao could return and have a medical OK. Real Madrid is back. The crazy calendar gives no respite and after facing the national team break, the Whites now have to face Athletic Club at the Santiago Bernabeu. From there, after facing Valverde's men, Carlo Ancelotti's men will face another break, this time for nine days, for the Copa del Rey, and football will return with the Champions League against Manchester City. Against Athletic there will be returns and losses. The main loss is that of Vini Jr. The Brazilian saw the fifth yellow card against Osasuna in El Sadar. Vinicius was sanctioned with a card and will not play against the Basque country team. Militao could be called up. The one who is back is Eder Militao, although we will have to wait to see if he is on the squad list or if he is waiting to return to the field against City or in upcoming duels. Real Madrid wants to add three points and continue with the good feelings shown in the Osasuna Real Madrid match of the last league match so far. Carletto's men played a fantastic 90 minutes and want to repeat that performance. Carlo Ancelotti is preparing his men for a clash against Athletic where he will already have Vinicius' replacement in attack. He goes with Rodrigo and Bellingham. Real Madrid's return to activity is heating up. After an eternal national team break, the Whites host Ernesto Valverde's Athletic Club de Bilbao this Sunday in a bid where Vinicius will not be present. There is already a replacement in Carlo Ancelotti's coaching staff ahead of the clash. Busy days in the white universe, with Brazil's visit to their facilities and with Endrick making it clear that they have signed a pearl in every sense. We must leave behind what happened in these weeks and above all, get back into what is now the last quarter of the season. Athletic opens the contest. One where Vinicius will not say present after the yellow received against Osasuna in the city of Pamplona. The Whites do recover Jude Bellingham who returns after the expulsion in Valencia and therefore has complied with the two suspension dates after the card seen at the hands of Gil Manzano. A game full of danger is coming and it will be the last stop before Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. Brahim to 11. Carlo Ancelotti but throughout the last few hours with the man from Malaga as an offensive player and alongside profiles such as Rodrigo or Jude will allow him to have an attack as balanced as it is full of mischief when looking for Unai Simone's goal. Vinicius will be absent and that is why the Brazilian will move to the left wing while Bellingham will have a more focused role in the center of the field. Brahim goes left. Tomorrow the last test will arrive in a sports city in Valdebibas where the last third of the quarter of the season is heating up for a white team that hopes to continue defending first place in the National League Championship and that is slowly getting ready for that tie against Manchester City in the European Cup. All roads lead to Rome, something similar to what happens with Erling Haaland and Real Madrid, since the player and the white club seem condemned to understand each other in the not-too-distant future. This is something that they understand perfectly in the Madrid entity, where they are convinced that the Norwegian in the coming years should be in Carlo Ancelotti's attack, along with Kylian Mbappe and Vinicius Jr. 
However, in the last few hours, information has emerged in which there is talk of a possible exchange between the Brazilian and the Norwegian, which would take Real Madrid's 7 to the Etihad Stadium and Manchester City's 9 to the stadium. Santiago Bernabeu This, for the moment, is ruled out by the leaders of the Chamartin club, although if Vinicius continued to feel uncomfortable and mistreated in La Liga, the Rio native would go to the Premier League, something that Florentino Perez would take advantage of to sign Erling Haaland, who is like crazy about wearing white. I have thought so much about leaving La Liga. But if I did, I would agree with the racists. I am going to continue fighting and playing for the best club in the world, winning titles, scoring goals so that people have to see more times my face. I continue to evolve to do these things, to play football, to be the joy of my people, of all the people who go to the stadium. Racists are always a minority. I am a daring player, who plays for Real Madrid, who wins many titles, is very complicated. I am going to remain firm and strong because the president and the club support me so that I can continue here, the Brazilian recently expressed. Vini's goodbye is something that Florentino Perez cannot handle right now, but he understands the ordeal that the Real Madrid footballer has been experiencing in Spain in recent seasons. The Cules continue to err and error in all their decisions, which is why they are mired in a historic, unprecedented crisis in the sporting, institutional, economic and political sphere, something that began with Josep Maria Bartomu, but has continued. With Joan Laporta In recent years, Barcelona has been behaving like just another ordinary club, very far from what the actions of a great should be, which is why Real Madrid has not missed the Blagrana's latest lie. Joan Laporta is showing that he lives more on dreams than on realities, which explains why he leaked the signing of Erling Haaland to his journalist friends, something that no one believes. However, given the noise of this information, Kylian Mbappe, new Real Madrid player, has not hesitated to react to the possibility of sharing with the Norwegian in La Liga. If that's going to happen, I don't know, but it would be fun for the league, is what the Parisian recognizes about the possible duel he would have with the Nordic player in Spanish football if that rumor, with little foundation, comes true. That Barcelona is going to sign Erling Haaland in 2025. Beyond this, Florentino Perez and José Ángel Sánchez continue to focus on strengthening the squad for 2024-2025, although they do not lose sight of the Manchester City attacker for the future. Real Madrid are already thinking about next season, which explains the latest move they have made in the white club with a view to the summer transfer market. This Friday, a small delegation from the Madrid entity was in Lille following Leni Yoro's match against Lens at the Pierre Maroui Stadium. The Madrid centre-back was examined by the white scouts and, through third parties, they once again showed him the interest of Florentino Perez and Carlo Ancelotti in having his services for the Merengue team next season. Real Madrid intends to intensify this pressure on the young centre-back in the coming weeks with the aim of guaranteeing his signing either for next summer or, at least, for 2025, when his contract with the Frenchman ends. He is the desired player to reinforce the defence and this Friday it was demonstrated again, since his case is very reminiscent of that of Rafael Verani, who left the white club leaving behind good memories and many titles in his career. Florentino Perez and Carlo Ancelotti consider that Lenny Yoro is the ideal one to complete Eder Militao, Antonio Rudiger, Nacho Fernandez and David Alaba, also taking into account that the Austrian will not return until the 2024-2025 season begins.